Hey guys, what's going on? Uriel Kim here from UrielKim.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you seven anti-aging foods everybody over 40 should eat. Okay, so here we go. Uh, seven foods here. There are many, many more, but I think these are seven really important staples that you should have in your kitchen. You should be eating them on a regular basis and by regular, I mean at least several times per week. Let's jump right in. Okay, number one, organic extra virgin olive oil. This is the way to go. Um, it's amazing, great source of monounsaturated fats which have been conclusively shown to help our hearts and cardiovascular system, so important. Don't worry about measuring it. Like literally open up the cap and chug this bad boy. It's so good for you. You can't overdo it as far as I'm concerned. You don't have to chug it, just add it to salad dressings, you know, anyways. Number two, walnuts. Walnuts, they're in here somewhere, okay? So have you ever considered, have you ever thought about this? Walnuts, if you take a whole walnut, I'm gonna get half of the walnut here, that looks like your brain. Pretty cool, right? Walnuts are a tremendous source of omega-3 fatty acids and we know that omega-3 fatty acids are very good for our brain and nervous system as well as our heart cardiovascular system and they're awesome right so they can they can be used in so many different ways don't be scared of them maybe half a handful a day is all you need they're tremendous the, the important thing actually well you're going to see that i'm talking about a number of different fats here so number three Fish oil or fish, cold water fish, whichever one you like, you can do both. Um, it's just amazing. It lowers blood pressure, uh, protects your heart, cardiovascular system, as I just talked about. Very high source of omega-3, but most importantly, the ideal version of omega-3, which is what it's broken down into, which is DHA and EPA, which are the kind of the fast acting prostaglandins in the body that really do the benefit, really have the benefit. And specifically, we want more DHA because it's very helpful for our brain and can help you know, prevent dementia and stuff like that. So that's a number, another important fat. I'm gonna talk about these fats as a group in a second. Number four is avocados. Again, like with olive oil, another great source of monounsaturated fat. 300 calories for one of these bad boys. 90% of it is fat. Who cares? Don't worry about it. If you can eat these all day long, I don't think you're gonna really get fat. Although I wouldn't recommend eating avocados all day long, but I think one per day is more than enough, right? And it's great for you. So don't worry about the calories when quality is in the picture, quantity doesn't really matter that much, okay? So I've just mentioned four of the seven foods and they're all fats. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about the importance of fat in your diet? If you've been led to believe that fat is the devil, then it's not, that's not correct. The wrong fats are the devil. The margarines, the Criscos, the sunflower oils, the safflower oils, the soybean oils, those are the ones you wanna stay away from. High in omega-6, heavily rancid. Fats and oils are very important for our body, but they're also very dangerous because they're, especially the liquid ones, like fish oils, omega-3s, they're very sensitive to light, oxygen and heat. So if they're not treated properly and you ingest them, free radical damage galore. Okay, so you wanna be making sure that you're good quality stuff. So olive oil, dark glass bottle, fish oil, dark glass bottle, keep this in the fridge, keep this one in the pantry, and there you go. The importance of the fats, specifically as it pertains to anti-aging, is that they help protect the outer surface of your cell membranes. Right? Your cell membranes are largely made up of phospholipids or fats and proteins. So, and obviously a couple other things as well, but the fats are really important. So you can be made up of really bad fats and your skin will look the part, or you can be made up of beautiful fats and your skin just looks just like luscious, like you've been on a beach. Well, maybe that's not a good example. Anyways, okay, let's continue on. Number five, garlic. Garlic is amazing, high in sulfur. Sulfur is very good for the liver. Liver, very important for the skin. Your skin is ultimately, ultimately a, reflect, a reflection, not only of your cell membranes, but of the health of your liver. So if you've got skin blotches and all sorts of stuff, you probably have a toxic liver. Foods high in sulfur, like garlic, can be very helpful for cleansing the liver. And it's also very important for, you know, cardiovascular health, blood pressure, cholesterol, lowers all that stuff. Really, really amazing. And it just tastes awesome, right? 
Number five, number six, uh, blueberries. But you could actually just put all berries into this category because you know, they're very low glycemic index, so they're not gonna spike your, blood, spike your blood sugar, and they're very high in antioxidants. And we know that antioxidants are gonna scavenge away those free radicals inside of our body that do all the damage to our skin and make us age faster. So you can't go wrong with berries. You could have a dump truck of, of berries brought into your house, right? Just dump it into your house and just go crazy with it. You can't go wrong. They're so good for you. And number seven, uh, this is actually spinach, but this is a, a dummy, a prop for watercress because I actually I ran out of watercress. Funny, I'm doing a video with watercress. I don't even have it. So anyways, spinach is awesome, but watercress is amazing too. It's actually, it was found by the, the CDC, the Centers for Disease and Disease um, Control and Prevention to be the most Hi, the highest rated vegetable in terms of nutrient density. Like that, like even above kale, even be, you know, beyond Swiss chard. So watercress is awesome. It's tremendous. It's very, um, it's not as common in most people's diets, although you can get it easily at the, at the grocery store. It's got a bit of a bite to it. So it's got that kind of sulfur kind of kick to it. And remember what I just said about sulfur, right? With garlic, sulfur, garlic, sulfur is you know when a food is sulfurous based on if it's got a little bit of a bite. So if the food like radishes, right? Radishes have a bite, sulfur. Watercress has a bite, sulfur. Garlic has a bite, sulfur. All really important for the health of your liver and your skin in addition to all the other amazing nutrients that it has inside of it. So those are the seven must-have anti-aging foods that anybody over 40 or 20 or 30 or 50 or 60 or 70 should be eating on a regular basis. So are you currently eating these foods? Let me know in the comments below. Join me over at the blog as well for more details on this goodness. The link for that is below this video. And remember to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Just click one of the buttons, I think it's somewhere on the video, and you'll be hooked up with hundreds of amazing videos to help you live your healthiest and fittest life. And that's all. I'm Uriel Kim, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video coming your way very soon.